Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, today's the day we turn it around. Today is the day we get back, we go, we go to something different, continue to switch things up. We've switched things up all week, got a lot of nothing, but at least it was a change of pace. Staying away from Vivid Voltage, staying away from Champion's Path, trying to get some other stuff going for the next, still another like week and a half or so before I feel comfortable going back to there and mentally being able to take, once again, not pulling anything. But before we get to that point, remember to subscribe. I feel like I just need to always say this. I've been forgetting the last few videos to say it at the beginning. Please make sure you subscribe. We're, we're lingering right around 90. We'll gain two, we'll lose one. It's been a weird like six days of watching it go up by two and then down and then up and then down. Kind of like every step forward, we take a step back. Let's just keep taking steps forward. Progress. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help us hit 100. That would be appreciated. But today... We're going back to something that I did a long time ago and visiting Hobby Lobby. So Hobby Lobby does have Pokemon cards. They are expensive Pokemon cards, but if you go to Hobby Lobby, there's always a 40% off any one item coupon. So you buy the pack, you get it for like 11 bucks is what you get a tin like that for. You get a tin like this. This is a Blissey one. This is from Hobby Lobby. Um, actually... It is incredibly hard to even get these now. Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby was kind of like a hidden gem that I was using to be able to go and get these when I needed to. At my Hobby Lobby, these are now locked away. They aren't accessible. They're behind glass case. You have to ask an associate for help. And at the other Hobby Lobby further away, they had absolutely no Pokemon stuff. Not even the $8 Rebel Clash blister single blister packs. Yeah, $8. No wonder. But those were even gone at that Hobby Lobby. But I picked this up a few weeks ago. I'm going to hopefully be getting more. I'm going to go back, get into that glass case, get the other one that was sitting there. I just didn't want two blissy ones because that's all that they had. But we're going to get into this. So I'll get our little promo card guy here. And then there are three packs inside of this. And I do not know what are inside of this one. In the past, I have gotten um, evolutions in these. But from what I was seeing, I don't think this iteration has evolutions in them. I should, however, be getting some dollar store Pokemon stuff soon, so I'll have a little bit of new stuff to open. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I already see Crimson Invasion there. We've met you a lot this week, haven't we? I think I see an Evolutions there, too. But here is our card. These are technically not promo cards. These are just, if you look at here, the number, there's no promo or whatever. This is just the part of that regular set that is there. So, free pull. Something now that I do not need to pull again is we have our Blissey here. And actually it feels, centering is weird, got a lot of whitening there, so it's not that great of a card. But, we'll take it. Something I do not have, part of a set that I do not have. There is our code card for this. Throw that aside. Let's see what we get. So we have a Crimson Invasion. Darn. There is no Evolutions. We have a Burning Shadows. And lastly, we have a Sun and Moon base set. So no more evolutions inside of these. So that is a bummer. So now we are kind of relegated to some other sets. Crimson Invasion, which is whatever. We've opened that all week. Uh, Burning Shadows, which we can get the Charizard. And Sun and Moon, I don't remember. Is that the one with the Espeon and the Umbreon? I don't know. We'll go in this order. We'll do the Crimson Invasion first. We've been, we've seen these all week. We want the Gyarados. We know exactly what card we are looking for. Now we're back to difficult to open. Oh, okay. I was really confused for a second. That card, like, didn't... Okay, good. Code card. For some reason, a bunch of those were backwards when I was doing 1, 2, 3, 4, the uh, Elite Trainer Box throughout the week. So I was really confused about those. So we have Energy, a peaking red card, a Grumpig, and I have not seen this one before. It doesn't look very grumpy. Grumpig, Mile, Salandit, Pumpkaboo. Once again, I don't think I have seen this one. So is this a weird pumpkin Pokemon? Corfish, Starly. Skiddo, and here as our reverse, we have another Salandit. And let's see if we can start with something. No, we can't. We can't start with anything. So we have a rear 
Star Raptor, non-hollow, duplicate, already have it. So not starting out too hot. I've, I'm pretty sure in the last Hobby Lobby tin that I opened is when I pulled a, uh, the Dragonite EX, if I remember correctly. So this is our Sun and Moon. But I, I had good luck in the past with, um, with a Hobby Lobby pack. So hopefully that returns to form for me. So energy, Pelipper, Krako Rock, Brion, Cutie Fly, Drowsy, enjoys long walks on the beach, Rowlet, Torkoal, Zubat, and I think our reverse here is a Chin Chow. And on the back, oh, the card we wanted to pull, Umbreon GX Rainbow Rare for us today. Oh, it feels so good to be back to pulling something. Oh, yes. And I, I literally just said, I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones we want to pull. I think our centering is kind of scuffed ish. Let's look at the back. Yeah, centering is definitely wonky. You can see how it's even at like an angle on the top. This is centered horribly. That's a bummer, but Umbreon GX Rainbow Rare card for us today. We have a hit. We're going to. We're gonna sleeve it up. I'm gonna sleeve it up here on camera because this one goes in a hard case despite being garbage center wise. Where's my hard cases? There we go. Oh man, you have no idea how good it feels to pull something after just being crapped on for like two and a half weeks. Boom, in there, Umbreon GX. Thank you for showing up to the party. We're back at it, boys. We're back in the game. And girls. Back in the game. That feels... You know what? You just hang out. Hang out somewhere. You can just chill right there. You're never. You're not going to stay in focus. Now a Burning Shadows. A little bit of a weird crimped pack here. That's kind of interesting. Oh. Oh, it feels so good. I, uh, it has been way too long, my friends. This pack feels thick for some reason. There you go, code card for y'all. One, two, three, four to the front. Oh, I'm just, this is just gonna make my weak energy. Kirlia, Simisage, Tormenting Spray, mmm, Porygon being very aggressive, Panpour, Pan Sage, Esper, Sock, and our reverse here is a Tangela. Can we make it two? We cannot. But it is something I have not pulled before. A Dusknor holographic rare in our Burning Shadows there. But we pulled one of the cards that we wanted from that base set, Sun and Moon. The Umbreon GX Rainbow. Oh. We're back. The energy has returned. It's 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 so crazy how one little pull can just like bring it all back. You get that excitement. Like I've been I haven't felt that in like two weeks. I've gotten nothing. There hasn't been a single like the the amazing rares from Vivid Voltage were great, but pulling a rainbow rare, pulling a full art, anything like that, just it is a much better feeling and it just instantly hooks you back in. So my energy has been renewed. So this week, just so we're aware, this is what we're getting into. We're going to go back into a small but mighty. We've been holding on to it. This has more darkness ablaze. It has more burning shadows, more opportunities to get stuff there. So hopefully this week treats us as good as today did pulling this guy, which I'm incredibly excited for. So, thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of this. Me being able to get excited again about something. I hope to see you back. Please subscribe, like, do all that stuff, all that jazz. 
And thank you for watching, and I, I hope you have a great day.